Welcome to another diary piece. I am just en route to go and do a little bit of baiting up. The river season has finished, so I'm not going to be distracted with rivers at all, and perch fishing and all of that. I am on my way to bait up a couple of lakes. In there is an absolute wallop of a common. <laughs> yeah, boy. An absolute cracker. I think I mentioned that I wanted to try and get hold of one of these fullies, and I have. What an absolute belter, and an amazing, amazing finish to the session. What a carp. <laughs> Delighted. This is one of the 18. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow, look at the size of that. Well, welcome to another diary piece. I am just en route to go and do a little bit of baiting up. The river season has finished, so I'm not gonna be distracted with rivers at all and perch fishing and all of that. I am on my way to bait up a couple of lakes. I've just prepped my bait. Just got a load of tuna with boiling water over the top, 10 millers and 15 millers of which I'm going to leave some hole in there and I'm also going to mulch a few of them up as well to introduce to both lakes. They're both over in Cambridge Way. Can't say an awful lot about them just yet. Um, oh, big pothole. But, um, but one of them is very, very new, as in the fish in there haven't been long stocked. So I'm hoping they're going to be hungry and it'd be nice to go and get a few bites from some awesome scaly ones. So I plan to go over there tomorrow. Apologise if this is uh, if this is a little bit shaky. Um, and then I'm gonna go over to the other lake uh, for a few more days this week. That lake holds some absolute belters in it um, and they are quite a bit bigger in there. So I'm gonna go up and bait both lakes in readiness. I'm gonna keep the bait trickling in and then I can chop and change between each one depending on what the weather's like, depending on how I'm getting on and all that jazz. Um, to get you up to speed, sort of last week or so, um, I headed out at the weekend on the rivers for the last uh, weekend before the rivers finished. I went out on a boat with my old mate Sam, and uh, it was a belly boat, which was a bit of an experience. We, uh, we dressed up, got our flippers on, jumped into the belly boats, and literally paddled down river um, with our feet, which was pretty cool. The pike um, and the perch, neither of those were really biting. We caught a few jacks between us and some small wasps, but it was, a, it was an awesome experience and something that I'm definitely going to be investing in for the river season next year. It just allows you to get to those places that you probably can't get to, well, you definitely can't get to by foot. So I'm gonna be investing in one of them, that's for sure. Fuck me, I thought you popped it then. Oh, Sam in his boat. <laughs> There's my little bad boy there, little camo one, carp angler, obviously. Well, hopefully, we're going to go and catch some predator species on some laws. <laughs> That'd be nice, mate. <laughs> Go on, boy. <laughs> little pencil. Well done, mate. Just show us, mate, before you lob him. Lovely in these boats. Proper nice way of fishing this. Look at that one, little pencil. <laughs> well done, mate. The old flippers on that. <laughs> um, also, sort of shortly after that, last week, um, Dave Levy and I. Uh, we did our first of a new series for the Ridge Monkey Lads, um, a camper van series where basically Dave and I um, rent a, a VW camper van and we are going to be travelling around the UK in this van in search of all sorts. Our first one was to go down to, um, to target some of the huge chub in the Lee, but due to conditions it didn't exactly go to plan, so we had to um, 
sort of change our mindsets and as anglers we uh, we pulled it out of the bag but with something else but I can't give too much of that away because it won't be out by the time you see this but it's an awesome series and um, you've got to look out for it because I think you'll enjoy it so other than that I'm back to my carp fishing got my carp fishing head on now it's been raining hopefully it's going to stay dry while I go and tickle some baiting and uh, hopefully I'll see a few fish as well if I see some fish obviously I know where I'm going to put the bait if not then um, I'm going to have a, a little lead around learn some spots on each of the lakes and um, sort of use my best watercraft if they're not telling me where they are so yeah exciting times off to the lake we go Not a lot to choose from, but this marks and sparks. Oh, they look nice. Better cheese and herb pastries. They'll go in the old rich monkey out of four. Get in my basket. Well, good morning. I am at Toaster Racecourse. I'm not here betting on the horses like I would be normally. I'm actually here fishing, believe it or not. My mate Luke has acquired a new lake right in the middle of the race course well not right in the middle because uh, you get hit by horses but just down from the race course is this pretty little lake and the good old boy that Luke is he said I can test fish it now he put fish in here um, sort of a while back some beautiful beautiful scaly carp and his plan is to obviously turn it into a fishery in the future I don't know whether he's going to do it exclusive bookings or, or what, but he's certainly going to do something special with it by the looks of it. It's a very pretty lake, very quiet down here, and obviously very picturesque. You've got the race course there up in the background, and you're right in the countryside. So I'm very, very privileged to be here. I got here nice and early this morning. I put a couple of solid bags out there with pellets, and uh, one with a bright hook bait, one with a, a tuna dumbbell on and I've spotted a bit of pellet and crumb and 10 millers out there as well. Luke feeds and pellet to obviously get them nice and big. So they know what a pellet is. I flick the rods out. There's a little bit of bottom weed out there, but nothing to worry about, hence using the solid bag. So both rods are out there. It's a bit drizzly now, a little bit, little bit dull and, uh, and gloomy out there, but perfect for angling. So yeah, let's see what happens today. Well, unfortunately, my first taste of toaster race course fishing was a blank. It was pretty windy, pretty cold, pretty horrible. And to be honest, I don't think I was on them. Well, clearly I wasn't. But about an hour away from just about, just before I was about to pack up, I did see one show and got onto that fish for about half an hour. I did have a quick plum about just before I left as well and there's a bit more depth there and it's nice and firm as opposed to sort of the silkweed that I was fishing over earlier. So I'm going to come back in a few days time and have another go. Tomorrow though I'm heading over to Elson's to see if I can catch one of those big old originals. P.S. If you wonder why I'm sweating it's because I've just hoiked over a big old field, a big wet field with the barrow which is an absolute nightmare. So yeah, that's why I'm looking a little bit sweaty. But yeah, I'm off to Elson's tomorrow and I can't wait. I'll hopefully see you then. Welcome, Costa. Hi there, can I have um, a, a large latte? Yeah. Uh, and a decaf mocha, please, just a regular one. Yeah, perfect, anything else? That's it, thank you. Sorry, thank, thank you. you. I do like a cuss. I do like a costa. There we go. The early bird hopefully catches more than a worm. <laughs> Good morning. Yesterday I didn't catch anything, unfortunately, over at the race course. It was really windy and cold. That's what I'm blaming it on, but I weren't on the fish yesterday. I moved three times and in the last swim, about 20 minutes before I was about to go, I saw a fish show. I say show, it was more of like a boil up on the surface and there's only carp in there, so it had to be a carp. So I found them 
with like 20 minutes left. I flicked a solid bag out for like 20 minutes, but nothing occurred. But after having a quick lead about, just as I was reeling in, it was noticeably deeper up that end. I was only fishing in sort of four or five foot of water for most of the day yesterday. And this was definitely deeper than that. This was like eight nines, I reckon, which is where I think the fish were. It was a lot clearer as well. Um, presentation would be a lot better. So I'm gonna head back there tomorrow for another go in the slightly deeper water. And I'll see what happens. Today I'm over at Elson's. I got in nice and early. It was the first one on the gate. It's days only still and uh, managed to plot up in a swim known as the double. I had a little wander and noticed a few fizzers sort of straight away. So there's definitely carp around. I flicked three choddies out there with bright ones on the end and just scattered a few baits over the top, only 12 or 15 sort of tuners over the top in the throwing stick just to try and keep them grabbing about. Still a little bit coloured out there, but it has cleared since last time I was here. Obviously did a few sessions a few weeks ago to no avail. It's been fishing really, really hard over here this winter. No doubt because of all the extra water that's gone in. But I can smell spring, spring is in the air. There's definitely carp in front of me because I've seen some fizzers. So let's see what happens. Sorry if this is a little bit uh, pixelated. I've had to zoom right in, but Look at the bubblers out there on the end of that wind. That is not far away, just behind them coops. Well, it's time for a bit of brunch. Looks pretty good, that. Little omelette, ham and cheese, lovely jubbly. Rods are out, it's just starting to rain. Come on, the carp. Well, I cannot catch a cold at the moment. I am going to end this one abruptly. This session was a blank. Good morning. I'm back down at Toaster Racecourse again and it's cold. It's cold, windy and a bit drab and I feel tired this morning. I've done three days on the trot, one down here one down at Elson's and I'm back here again. Obviously I've got a young'un, or two young'uns as well, one of them doesn't sleep great, wakes up a lot, not that I do a lot in the night but obviously I wake up and I've been doing early mornings because it's still days only and I'm feeling a bit tired. Hopefully I'm going to catch one today, I'm on the back of the wind in the deeper spots, just pop the kettle on, going to have a quick cuppa Oh, and I'm going to get my head down for half an hour. I feel absolutely shattered today. Got a bit of a headache as well. Might need to have a rest for a few days, I think. But uh, rest from fishing, that is. Anyway, rods are out. Hopefully something's going to happen today. I haven't had a buzzer for ages. <laughs> I was just on the phone to me, our mate Dave Levy, and out the corner of my eye, I saw something show. I think it was a carp. No coots or anything came up. It only looked something small, but it was a show, I'm sure of it. So I'm gonna skip the rods in and get a couple down in that corner. The complete opposite end of where I thought they were gonna be. It's a cold northerly wind blowing. And if that was a fish, they're in the teeth of it. Um, yeah, completely against the grain. I fished off the back of it to no avail, but um, I'm gonna skip the rods in, go and put a couple down in that area. I've only got sort of hour, hour and a half left and uh, see if we can get a bite, so. Yeah, I'm gonna be quick, get the rods in, get them down in the corner, fingers crossed. Okay, so we're at the end of a very, very manic afternoon. After moving swims, after seeing that fish show, I got the solid bags out and it didn't take long for one to rattle off. Oh, he's tiny, bless him. He's lovely, they all count. Come on, fella, blimey, don't like that net. It's not like that net at all, in my leads. Up the lead court. The result was an awesome scaly little character. Very, very welcome. Been on a bit of a downer the last few weeks, haven't caught much, been finding everything very, very tricky, but this was a monkey off my back that I needed. 
So I was very, very chuffed with that one. Did some self takes and slipped her back. Well, how about him for a scale perfect belting little mirror carp? I am very, very happy with him. Been on a bit of a barren spell lately and I've never caught a carp from Toaster Racecourse before. <laughs> this is going to be some lake, it really is, especially if they look like this. Well, happy with this one. Glad I moved on to the fish, well, onto the one fish that I showed. The result was this beautiful little scaly one. Right, mate, let's put you back. You can just see Toaster Racecourse there, up in the top corner, look. Amazing. Right, let's get you back, fella.